Welcome to this episode of Growth on Purpose with me, Claire Chandler. This episode is brought to you by the Strategic Advisor Board and my company, Talent Boost. I help executives and business owners get their teams working together more effectively in less time with less cultural resistance so they can accelerate their business growth on purpose. Speaking of accelerating, things are really starting to speed up in our species mission to get to land on and colonize the planet Mars. It's really kind of cool if you think about it. This may or may not happen in our lifetimes, but there are many, many people, many, many resources and many, many millions and billions and potentially trillions of dollars going into this very ambitious effort. But we can't just say tomorrow, we're going to just randomly launch a rocket and get straight to Mars and ensure that it is successful. In fact, this mission to Mars will take many, many years and several stages. Before we can even contemplate colonizing Mars, we have to figure out not only how to land there, but also to go back and forth in a sustainable way. Maybe that's a spaceship. Maybe that's some other form of transport we can't even envision just yet. But that has to happen before we can colonize Mars. You with me so far? Okay. But we can't just build a spaceship and some delivery mechanism that is sustainable without testing it first in an environment that can replicate as closely as possible the conditions on Mars without it requiring such a lengthy trip, which is why we are also aiming to set up a base camp on the moon. The moon has a lot of similar atmospheric and environmental features as Mars, as far as we know. And it's also a thousand times closer to Earth than Mars is. So it is a great proving ground and training ground for us to test some theories and some different infrastructure and some different modes of transport. But before we can even set up the base camp, we have to get Artemis 1, the rocket, off the ground. And if you've been paying attention to that, several times that launch has been scrapped. When you picture mission control, and you think of any movie that depicted mission control, you know that they go through a very um, comprehensive and thorough go, no go for launch. And they go through every single vertical, if you will, within their team to make sure that every single component is ready for launch. It only takes one person on one team in one discipline within one vertical to say no go for the launch to be scrapped. There are a lot of things to coordinate between now and colonizing Mars. How does that translate for you? As a leader in the business that you own or run or contribute to, what is your Mars mission? And while we think of colonizing Mars as something being very, very far out into the future, think of your own business, your own goals, your own ambitions, your own intentions in say five years, translate that into what your Mars mission in five years would be. And backing up from that, once you're clear on that, where do you need to be in three years so that you can sustainably deliver the resources it will take, the expertise it will require, the behavior, the talents, the performance that you're going to need to get to that five-year goal. And backing up from that, Where do you need to be in the next one to two years? What does your moon base camp, i.e. your culture, your foundations need to look like, your infrastructure? And once you have that clearly in mind, what are the near-term priorities that you need to equip your version of Artemis One with so that you can launch in the right direction, practice and perfect and build up your best practices through your moon base camp, and build a sustainable means of delivering on your five-year Mars mission. I hope I gave you some things to think about and some valuable tips you can start to apply at least to have these types of conversations within your own business. This is just one small part of what I do with my clients through my nine-step system for building commitment, aligning leaders, and accelerating their growth through my Growth on Purpose system. If you'd like a free copy of the roadmap, of that nine-step growth on purpose system, just click the link in the description below. And in the meantime, please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe to this channel so you get daily updates. Mm -hmm.